In this video, we will interface 20 cross 4 LCD with Arduino using I2C communication module. This I2C module converts serial data of Arduino to parallel data for the LCD display. Backlit is adjusted by potentiometer. Default address is 0 cross 27. This I2C module has 4 pins. Ground VCC, SDA is a serial data pin and SCL is a serial clock pin. VCC will be connected to plus 5 volt of Arduino. Ground to ground pin of Arduino. SDA to A4 pin of Arduino. SCK to A5 pin of Arduino. We have used Arduino jumper wires for making connections, ground wire to ground pin of Arduino, VCC to plus 5 volt of Arduino, SDA wire to A4 pin of Arduino, SCK wire to A5 pin of Arduino. Now we will see the Arduino code. For using this I2C shield of LCD display, we need to download Liquid Crystal I2C library. At the start of a sketch, we have included two header files, wire.h and liquidcrystalI2C.h. Next, we have created an object LCD of class Liquid Crystal I2C. It has three parameters, address which is default 0 cross 27, 20 is a character of LCD display and 4 is a lines of LCD display. In the void setup loop, we have initialized the LCD by using lcd.begin function. In the loop section, we, have ex we will explore various functions related to LCD. First, we will print the message at column 5 and line 0. For this, we will use lcd.setCursor 5,0 and then use lcd.print function to print the required text at cursor position. Similarly, we have created two more messages at different locations. When we upload this in Arduino, we will have this display. We can see our text at specific locations. Next, we will see how to blink the cursor. For this, lcd.blink function is used along with a delay of 1 second. Let us upload it in Arduino and see the effect. Great, let us explore more. If we want to display underline cursor, then we have to use lcd.cursor function. Let us see its effect in display after uploading it in Arduino. Now we will create blinking screen using lcd.display and lcd.noDisplay functions. No display and wait for 1 second and the display data and wait for 2 second. Let us see it's working. Now we will scroll the text to the right side. We will be using lcd.scrollDisplayWrite 
function with a delay of 0.2 seconds. If we want text to move right and left at its place, then we can use this way. We use for loop as shown. This will move text right side 6 times and then another for loop will move text to left 6 times. Let us upload and say it's working. Now let us create a special fun, uh, uh, character. First we will learn few basics. Each digit in LCD display is 5 cross 8 pixel display. Pixel information is stored in a binary in a byte array of 8 bytes and last 5 bits of each byte controls the pixel display. First we will define byte array. I have named, named it as A1. We will now declare each byte of an array. We are writing last 5 bits of each byte. 0 bits mean pixel will be off and 1 mean means pixel will be on. In setup loop, we have to use LCD dot create character function with two parameters. Parameter zero is first parameter zero is memory location and second parameter is byte array. In the loop section, we will use LCD dot write function with a byte zero as location of memory. Remember, each digit is five cross eight pixel. We will make bits to 1 for desired pixel to get on. Let us set the specific position of a character display by using lcd.setCursor function. Now we will upload in Arduino and say it's working. It should be LCD dot set cursor. We will upload it again and say it's working.